Hello, Fatima. Good evening. Are you there? Hello, good evening. I I guess you ha you have been like uh with a different schedule in your work, and so that's probably uh the reason why you might be as a listener all of this time. No, it's because the last two weeks I have the night turn at my job. So ah, uh, so that's the reason why. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, so I understand that. That's the reason why uh, you have been only as listener. Okay, I understand. Yes. You also thank you for for letting me know. Okay. So let me check, guys. All right, so we're gonna start. Give me a second. I'm just checking something. All right, give me a second. Okay, guys, so good evening, everybody. Uh, so welcome to the last video conference of this module, all right? So basically, with uh, the class that we're gonna have tonight, and the development of the uh, satisfaction survey, we are going to give an end to this course, right? So uh, I do really thank you guys because you got connected, right? And I hope guys, we can, you know, like end the module without, you know, like any kind of issue, right? So I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list guys, just to start and probably, at 8.30 or 8.45, we're going to start uh, a, the, the satisfaction survey, all right? In that case, I'm going to give you, uh, you know, like, like the guidelines, how uh, we're going to do in order to, to fill out the, the satisfaction survey, all right? So that everybody can do it at the same time and, you know, like in the appropriate way, right? So let's start. Let me see. Carmen Eugenia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's here. Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Daniel Arquimides. Present. Okay, excellent. Daisy Maricela. There is a she's not here. Edward, uh, no, Edward is left already. Uh, Edwin Alexander. Present, sir. Okay, great. Edwin Vladimir. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Estela Mabel. All right, so she's not here yet. Fatima Adriana. Okay, Fatima Lourdes. Present. Okay, excellent. Jaime Antonio. Mm -hmm. All right, so he's not here yet. Carla Lisette. All right, not even. Um, let me see. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, great. Lorena Beatriz. All right, so just now here. Manuel Antonio. Hmm. All right, so Manuel is not here yet. Uh, Mary Raquel is no longer showing up. And uh, let me see. Noemi Betsabe. All right, so Noemi is not here. And we got the last person over here. 
All right, give me one second. And hey, I mean, it's true. You were hidden, Maria Gabriela. Present. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one, Osmin Alexis. We're just there. There you go. Ah, okay. Ah, I mean, Daisy is here. All right, so I'm going to include you, Daisy, right now. In a second, Daisy Maricela. Okay, great, guys. So we're going to start, you know, like with uh, um, part of uh, the topic, in, you know, like that we were supposed to, to provide feedback, right, uh, from the class that we were supposed to be like done, but actually, uh, your minutes, guys, were not counted. Give me a second. Okay, Carla, thank you for letting me know. Okay, guys. So let's start. And we are going to continue with part of what we left yesterday, right? And at the end, we're going to provide feedback, a general feedback about the main topic that this class was, you know, like mainly focused about. Okay, guys. Uh, but before starting with that, remember that we generally uh, make a review about what we did the previous class. So let's start with that, guys. Uh, do you guys remember what were we doing last night? What was the most relevant, uh, you know, like that we were doing? So let's just start with a short review about the things that we were discussing last class in order to start, you know, like with what we're going to be doing uh, tonight. Hello, good evening. Hi. Good evening, Kenya. And um, we, we make a conversation or presentation about the step that we have to follow for our inventory account. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, you were discussing that, right? Uh, related to the inventory account. Okay. Great. Thank you, Kenya. Besides that, guys, what else did you do yesterday? What do you remember? We review uh, the use of the suffix. Ah, okay. We were doing a general review about suffixes. Okay, very good. So a suffix, remember, is those ending letters that we generally use to change one word completely, right? Just by changing the meaning of a word. Okay, great. So that was part of what we were just doing uh, yesterday, guys, if you remember. Uh, we ended up with uh, a question that you were discussing. And the question was, would you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? Right? If you remember, even you were sharing your own experiences right in here related, you know, like uh -huh, to uh, a different company's uh, experiences, right? So in this case, guys, if you saw yesterday in the manual, so we got an, a kind of a uh, kind of article we can say like that, right? In which there is a scripted a issue, right? In this case, an issue that happened in one company, right? So basically. We are going to follow, give a follow-up on that article. We are going to identify what was like the main issue that was happening in there. And we're going to be working on that with a couple of questions, guys. So just give me one second.
Okay, yeah, it is here. It is on page 40, guys. If you remember, that's the last page that yesterday uh, we started working. So I'm going to project. Give me a second. All right, so you got it in here. So what are we going to do here, guys? Since basically we got a previous knowledge about what we were doing yesterday. And if you remember yesterday, we were talking about bad experiences with, uh, you know, like companies, all right? So we're going to follow up on this tonight. And it says in here, let's read the indication, guys. Uh, Daniel, help me out reading the indication from this exercise. Just to start with. Okay. Read the following, following excerpt, excerpts about inventory issues. Walmart has experienced identify main ideas and kiss a child to answer the question below. Ah, okay, great. Thank you, Daniel. All right. What is this about, guys? Listen. It says, it is an excerpt about inventory issues about inventory issues that Walmart in this case has experienced. Everybody knows what is Walmart, right? And how you know, somehow Walmart works. So in this case, this is like a bad inventory problem that Walmart has experienced. And it says, I identify main ideas and key details to answer the questions below, okay? So, what are we gonna do, guys? We're gonna keep on working in, 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 in groups. And the idea is, listen, read the excerpt that you got in here, all right? And identify what was the inventory issues that in this case, Walmart presented, okay? Once, listen, once read, I want you to discuss, all right? And identify the main issues that you can find from here, okay? Once that you have done all that, that you have discussed, all right, the issues that Walmart shows in here, I want you to go down, guys, and answer these questions. There are five questions over here, okay? Related to this article, to this excerpt, okay? That's what we are going to be doing guys read this discuss with your classmates what are like the main issues that you can find in here you know like inventory issues okay and then we are going to answer these questions that we got over here okay that's what we are going to be doing guys do you have any question before starting with this any doubt about what we are going to do No, okay, great. If you don't have any questions, and actually there are very few people get got got connected tonight. Let me let me check, guys. Probably I'm gonna make pairs and knit groups. Okay, I got high me active as win. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna check on if I can do it in Paris. Okay, so it's going to be designed like this. All right, guys, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work on that specific article. All right, I will be jumping on the breakout rooms. And if you have any question, you are free to let me know when I got, you know, like joined on your room. Okay, let's accept, guys, this and let's go to work.
Noemi, are you there? Noemi, can you listen to me? No. Hi right, guys, everything okay here? Yes, teacher, just reading. Okay, great.
level will have a level experience. Even for a youngst, even for youngst like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Oh, Christian. Um, okay, I have to read it, to read it again. Yeah, it is, uh, yes. Okay. Um, one second. <clears throat> Out of a stock problem, Gorman have them too, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in, in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. accomplishment. Uh, nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shop shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the, from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many case, cases where stock was able in storage, but due the short, short take, Shorty, what is that? Shorty, short tape of stuff. It got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves, and management worsened. The problem by further cutting back stuff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level would have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, that's good. Uh, after that, we need to do this, the answer to this, this part. Mm. That's okay. Oh. I think we'll have to discuss about what is the problem with Walmart first. Yes. All right, Mr. Carroll. Okay. Yeah. I I I can I can to have a excuse so, for nothing, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, Basically, the problem is that Walmart di didn't put uh, his products on the shelves uh, because they they didn't hire personnel. Uh, employees and also the customers can can buy can buy products because they don't have it in in the shelves, but they have in they have it in their warehouse. By for example, and the first question. What is Walmart's average inventory? Is in the first letter B. No. Uh, uh huh. B. B. Letter B. Guys, right now it's just you both uh, participating. Um, yeah. Excuse me, teacher. Is just you and, and, and Jaime participating right now or Noemi is here? Noemi, yeah, Noemi is disconnected right now. I don't know. 
no, no me is coming out. Uh, clear but, uh, I, okay. I connect presently, but I don't understand that they have. But ah, I think no. you are reading. Yes, you are reading and answer the question. Yeah, basically what they are doing is uh reading the article that is in the last page. Uh, because that is basically give me one second. I'm gonna get out of mine. Oh, got it. This. So basically, what you got in there, Noemi, is an article about an inventory issue that Walmart has experienced, right? So basically, what they are doing is reading the article, identifying, you know, like like the key details, why this issue happens, or what kind of issues are those that Walmart experienced, and at the end. All right, what they're going to do is like answer the questions, but at the same time, they are discussing, right? What they read about those issues that Walmart showed in the article. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Nomi, I can see in the in the screen. <laughs> I think uh, you are you are disconnected. <laughs> sorry. No, it's, no, I don't know why. But I can connect um, because I recently I finished another class and I I have problem with the internet. I don't know, but I can see the see the room. I don't know why, but I am at home <laughs> yet, and I and I I try to to learn about. It. Okay. 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 Osbin is a listener, right? Yeah, apparently he's driving. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, and the first question is, what is Walmart Hours inventory? And the... Um, letter B. Article is letter B because... Uh, Okay, uh, number two, Walmart's problem is a trick, teacher. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A tree. Problem attribute two. Walmart's problem is attributed. Attributed. Yeah, attributed to. Logistic is software implementation. Uh, letter C, I think. Mismanage inventory. Inventory. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where Because uh, Walmart are of logistic. No. See? What's the logistic? No. See, mm -hmm. let her see. Mismanage inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the number three is letter B. And the and number four, letter B. Letter B, okay. And then number five, letter B2, letter A. A, number five is letter A. Okay. In the five, I have little B. Process were not optimized. But he said true. Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate the forecast. Mm -hmm. Yes, little A too. Okay.
I think in there, if you have a big business, uh, a big, uh, uh, let me see, yes, a business, a market like this, uh, like, uh, like uh, Walmart, is very important, important and very necessary to have, um, uh, in order the inventory, uh, it be very, very organized idea to manage uh, this kind of uh, uh, market, I think. We finish. Yes. Okay, great. So you're done. There you go. Yep. Nice. I'll just go and check this other group that hasn't finished yet. Once they finish, we're going to go back to the main section. Okay. But Jan? We finished teacher. All right, so you're done? Okay, perfect. I guess everybody has already finished. So let's go, guys. Let's go to the main section. Okay. See you there, okay? See you. Hey, hello, Manuel. Now you're here. It's good to hello. see you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so everybody's coming. Okay, guys, listen, I would like to start, uh, you know, like with the activity that we just uh, finished, but we're going to make a short, you know, like uh, time off with that. And we are going to start, guys, with the uh, satisfaction survey, okay? I'm going to switch uh, into Spanish for you guys to understand better, okay? Okay. So, guys, eh, creo que me parece que ya podemos comenzar con lo de la uh, encuesta de satisfacción para así poder eh, dar por culminado a, al menos esa, esa, ese aspecto a, a evaluar, ¿ok? Creo que ya sus compañeros, pues, no van a conectarse los que faltan. Y, pues, bueno, antes de que surja algún otro inconveniente eh, con alguno de ustedes, pues, sería bueno de comenzar, ¿ok? So... Básicamente, desde ayer pregunté si todos les había llegado la información, right, uh, to your email or WhatsApp, y la mayoría me confirmaron que sí, right. So, basically, uh, lo que vamos a hacer es que en este momento, entonces vamos a dar inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Básicamente, esto, eh, como ustedes saben, es el tercer requisito que Insafor establece para definir si cada participante ha aprobado o no el, el presente módulo. Así que, eh, solicito de su atención eh, por si tenemos alguna duda, ok, 
Yo sé que ustedes pues ya tienen bastante experiencia eh, haciendo esto de módulos anteriores, okay? pero no está de más el volver a repetir las indicaciones, right? Entonces, les voy a mostrar un video, guys, eh, en el cual pues explica, digamos, el desarrollo de los pasos a seguir para la encuesta. Lo vamos a ver primero, listen, lo vamos a ver primero. Luego de verlo, vamos a dar inicio con el desarrollo de la encuesta. ¿Ok? That's what we are going to do right now. Give me one second. All right, guys, ¿me confirman que pueden ver mi pantalla? Yeah. Genial. All right. Eh, igual, ¿me confirman si pueden escuchar right, el audio del video? Ok, give me one second. De manera correcta. ¿Pueden escuchar? You listen, guys. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico. Yeah. Right. All right. So we're going to uh, watch this video, guys. Y cuando termine el video, vamos a dar inicio, ¿ok? Con la encuesta. La información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de cero. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita. Y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso. Y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar 
en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si no las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, por favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok. All right, genial, guys. Listen, básicamente lo que ustedes han recibido es... Eh, no sé si pueden ver eh, mi pantalla todavía. ¿Pueden ver mi correo? Sí. Perfecto. Básicamente esta es la información que ustedes han recibido. ¿Ok? Entonces acá uh, lo que les dan es lo pequeño recordatorio que, que les, les han estado, eh, pues, que ha estado en el video uh, mencionando. Right. Uh, recuerden que Insefor solo acepta una vez este proceso, así que tener cuidado con la información eh, que se ingresa. Entonces, por eso es que eh, se, se tienen estos, estos controles así, que pues eh, se muestra un video y todo para el desarrollo correcto de la encuesta. Ahora bien, acá está la información que realmente necesitamos, Chris. Listen, acá si pueden ver aparece la orden de inicio. Entonces, desde acá, desde este 29 en adelante... Ustedes pueden copiar esta parte. Y si ven acá. Uh, give me one second. Acá está el link de la encuesta. So. Le damos acá. Y ya les va a aparecer acá. All right. Acá. Eh, la encuesta en sí. Good. Entonces acá en el número uno dice, ingresa el, el, el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y play que será proporcionado por su proveedor. Right? Solo puede copiar y pegarlo. Entonces de acá, usted solo lo copia y lo pega acá. ¿Okay? Entonces para evitarse eh, 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 que se va a equivocar, ya sea con algún guión, con alguna pleca, right? solo se copia y se pega. Luego, nombre completo. Este sí lo van a escribir eh, de manera completa. Right? Acá, tal y como aparece en su DUI. Luego el correo electrónico, el cual ustedes proporcionaron, ¿ok? A, a la empresa, ¿right? Con lo que están escritos. ¿okay? Y el número 4, su número de celular, lo colocan acá. Luego está el quinto paso, el sexo, ¿ok? Que creo que hasta acá vamos, vamos bien. Entonces, acá, departamento de residencia. Acá, si ven, hay una pequeña flechita en la cual ustedes van a seleccionar ahí el departamento de su residencia. Right. Luego, en el número 7 dice municipio de residencia. Ahí sí lo van a escribir. ¿Cuál es su municipio de residencia? Ok. Bien, hasta acá, ¿todo va bien? ¿Alguna pregunta? Eh, ¿Puede agregar esa información de copiar y pegar al chat, por favor, para que se nos facilite eh, usarlo en la compu? Ok, permítame un segundo. Ahorita se lo anoto acá. Se lo voy a pasar así, solo que tenga cuidado ahí con las... Y el link también de la encuesta. Por... Perfecto. Ahí está. Y este sería el link de la encuesta. 
Ahí lo tiene. Ok, gracias. Perfecto. Bien. Si estamos bien hasta acá, hasta el municipio de residencia. Muy bien, si no hay ninguna pregunta. En, eh, en la número 8 dice empresa donde trabaja. Acá hay algunas empresas que, que se distinguen por un nombre eh, común. Right? Pero acá ustedes lo que van a colocar es la razón social de su empresa. ¿Ok? El nombre con el que está registrada. Si ustedes tienen alguna duda o no lo saben, háganmelo saber y yo se los voy a proporcionar. ¿Ok? Y si en un dado caso eh, no lo sepan. Y hay algunos que pues eh, eh, la razón social a veces la escriben con... con abreviaciones, acá si, la, eh, si el nombre de la empresa no tiene abreviaciones lo van a escribir tal y como es ok Good. recuerden ese es el número 8 Va en el, el número 9 dice nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó, igual si ven acá hay una pequeña flechita desplegable ok, entonces acá ustedes van a irse hasta esta parte donde dice inglés corporativo, Regal International, SADCB, y le van a seleccionar ahí. Ok. Muy bien. Ahora bien, en el número 10, dice nombre del curso. Bueno, en la información que igual les compartí eh, en el chat, ahí está cómo es el nombre del curso. Inglés, intermedio, módulo 4. Eso es lo que va a ir acá. Ok. Perfecto. Hasta acá vamos bien. ¿Alguna pregunta? All right. So, I guess everything is okay. Bien. Acá vienen los aspectos a evaluar. Dice, valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Ok. Y tenemos calificaciones de insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente. Y luego dice el primero, ¿cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? A, ¿le parece insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente? Ahí tienen las opciones de ustedes para poder uh, evaluar. Luego dice, ¿qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Right? Los contenidos impartidos. A, insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. Y luego, el último, ¿qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Igual, lo mismo, ahí, ahí queda ya a criterio. Right. Luego acá, ¿en qué fecha inició el curso? Bueno, en la información proporcionada que ustedes tienen y en las que les compartí en el chat, ustedes ahí básicamente tienen la fecha en que el curso se inició. Right. Que en este caso fue el... 6 de marzo. Right. Entonces ahí los, lo colocan, le dan el pequeño calendario acá. Pueden ir hacia atrás con las flechitas hacia arriba y luego hacia abajo. Right. Entonces lo colocan ahí. Y luego, ¿en qué fecha finalizó el curso? Esta fecha. Okay. Que sería 18 de abril. Ahí, ahí solo le, le seleccionan ahí para que se autocomplete. Ok. Good. ¿Hasta acá todo bien? ¿Alguna duda? Sí, yo sí. Okay. Pero que no sé cómo tienen, cómo tienen registrada mi empresa porque se escribe de... O sea, son varias empresas en una, entonces no... No vale. sé si lo han puesto abreviado o completo. <risas> Permítame que ahorita se lo envío, ¿ok? No hay ningún problema. Permítame, no me envío, a ver. Ahí lo tiene Noemi. En el chat de Zoom. Ok, thank you. Ok, great. Perfecto. 
Bueno. Perfecto. Uh, ¿Pueden ver el, 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 el punto 14 en mi pantalla? ¿Veis? ¿Me confirman? No. ¿Sí o no? No sé si decir los otros no. Sí. Ok. Right, uh, yes. Va, yes, pero, yes. Bueno, miren, en este punto es como uno de los más importantes también. Dice, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Listen, acá no es como realmente ustedes, eh, digamos, se sienten de que en el aspecto de ah, que yo pues no tuve mucho tiempo de poderme conectar al curso, así que me parece, eh, me parece, me estoy insatisfecho. Ah, ok, por algún motivo, pues, eh, falté bastante, así que estoy insatisfecho. No, básicamente en este punto lo que se refiere es cómo, listen, en dos aspectos, cómo hemos impartido la clase, en, en, en este caso mi persona como, como su facilitador, y cómo ustedes han obtenido respuesta de parte del equipo técnico cuando ustedes han tenido problemas, ya sea con la plataforma o con algún otro eh, caso con relación al, al curso. Right? Entonces, a eso es lo que se refiere ahí. Eh, cabe recalcar que si usted eh, le da clic en la opción insatisfecho, básicamente la empresa está dando por... Eh, básicamente está dando el conocimiento de que usted ya no va a poder continuar con un futuro eh, módulo si da la opción de insatisfecho ok entonces ahí a eso es lo que se refiere y luego en el, el número 15 dice mencione otros cursos de su interés básicamente si usted eh, le puede interesar algún otro curso adicional eh, que no sea eh, con relación al inglés puede mencionarlo ahí nada más, right? que se ha impartido eh, por Insafor. Y acá un, un comentario, pues básicamente ahí puede, eh, no sé, hacer un comentario corto sobre el curso, algo, unas tres, cuatro palabras para que no vaya ese espacio en blanco. Y luego que ya tengan toda la información eh, ya en el sistema, envíenla, denle la opción enviar y cuando ya diga se ha registrado la respuesta, Solo le toman la captura y me mandan esa captura al grupo con su nombre completo. ¿Okay? Eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer, guys. Creo que ya muchos lo han hecho. A mí sí. Ya vi, Cristian. All right. Daniel. Ok, perfecto. Estaría esperando. Yo, por favor. Yes, Lorena. ¿Me, me puedes ver la, la razón social de mi empresa, por favor. Ok, good. No se preocupe, ahorita lo hago. Lorena, ¿correcto? ¿Cierto? Ah, sí. Ahorita, Lorena. Ahí lo tiene Lorena, en el chat de Zoom. Gracias. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, entonces quedaría a la espera de los, de, los, de los demás que no han terminado la encuesta de satisfacción. Recuerden, tomen la captura y me lo envían con su nombre completo al grupo. En el caso de Carla, eh, let me see, Edwin Alexander, mmm, Fátima Lourdes, no sé si tienen un pequeño espacio ustedes en este momento para poder desarrollar la encuesta. Sí, te echan, ahorita la estoy haciendo. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Gracias.
I raised the head win. Ah, okay, both Edwins have already finished. Perfect. All right, so do, 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 let me see. Kenya. Okay, thank you, Carla. Kenya, uh, at the end, we're going to check everything. And I think you've got the 100% of your work okay. in the platform. But at the end, I will dedicate a couple of minutes before uh, the class finish just to show you how, uh, what is your percentage, your final percentage of of the platform, okay? All right, good. So I guess I got most. Thanks. All right, no problem. Estela, what, what's going on with your computer, Estela? I'm sorry, uh, it uh, couldn't. Uh, connect to the inter, but now uh, I can do it. Uh, in this moment, I, I do it. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. If you have any question, let me know, okay? Si tiene alguna pregunta, me lo sé saber. So I can help you up in this couple of minutes. All right, so thank you for your... Uh, da, 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 da. Your screenshot, Lorena. Let me see. Well, Manuel, ¿cómo vamos? Everything okay, mister? ¿Alguna pregunta? You got the microphone off, mister. I don't know what you're saying. Que le acabo de mandar. Ah, 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 okay, okay. Mister, pero me la mandó sin su nombre. Ahorita le estoy poniendo el nombre. Pero la estoy volviendo a mandar. Ah, genial, genial. Ahí está, gracias. Va, genial. Thank you, Mr. Teacher, can you uh, send me the name of my company? Like, do you have uh -huh. it? Because uh -huh. I, I didn't receive an a email, but I received it in, in my WhatsApp, the, the satisfaction. Sorry, okay, good. So basically you're telling me the the the, the the appropriate name of your company, right? Yes, please. Okay, good. Give me uh, can you send me at WhatsApp, please? Because I connect in the cell phone uh, for the class and the oh. satisfaction in the in the computer. Okay, great. Give me one second. I'm just gonna get connected through here on WhatsApp so I can send it to you. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm gonna wait for this to load and send it to you. Okay, thank you for the satisfaction. So we done, Daisy. Nice. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ, this is slow. Give me one second, Estela. Todavía está cargando el WhatsApp. Give me one second. Okay, there you there you go. Ahí lo tiene. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Let me see how many people I got here. Sixteen people. And how many satisfaction service do I have here? So let's wait for uh, Estela people and then we're going to finish with this. Just let me know, Estela, if you have any other uh, question, okay, or doubt. I, I didn't, I, I did it, teacher, but give me a moment. <laughs> Ah, okay. I send you in one moment. Yes. Ah, okay, good, good. Don't forget to write your name on it, okay? Okay, you got the, let me see. Ah, okay. There you go. Thank you, Stella. All right, perfect, guys. So basically, now that we have ended up with this, I do really uh, uh, thank you guys for uh, finishing this. Now, let's go back to where we stayed before doing this. And it was the development of 
the activity right from uh, the page 40. Okay, so let's just start with this. I am going to share the article uh, because I would like we to start reading it before, you know, like answering the questions, guys. So I would like the help of, let me see. Kenya, can you please help me out reading? start reading and then I will tell you where to stop for another person to continue the reading please from here and on Kenya are you there Hmm, I guess just not there. Daisy, can you help me out, please? Let me start reading the article. Okay. Thank you. Out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 in 27 countries and Average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistic accomplishment. Accomplishment. Okay, very good. Thank you. Stop there. Thank you. Let me see. Who else came out? Daniel, help me out reading, please. Nevertheless, nevertheless, okay, <laughs> my microphone is set. <laughs> nevertheless, Walmart's out of the stocks problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to Miss Masnage. Miss, what is the problem? Listen, listen, mismanaged mismanaged inventory. Okay, very good. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Uh, let me see. Lorena, continue. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision. This. Despite? Despite the meticulous scale that goes into optimum Optimize it. Walmart process. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expect, expected from the retail store. Ah, okay, very good. From the retailer store. Thank you. Uh, Osbin. Continue, Osbin. Okay. If, if, if not on this shelf, I can't buy it. I, I, I guess you may say in an interview. All right, if it is not on the shelf, I can't buy it. All right, a customer there in an interview. All right, thank you, Osbin. Jaime, continue the reading. Okay. According to Insider, there were many cases where stock was available in the storage, but to the storage of a staff, it gone delayed from moving out to the shop floor. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Noemi. Uh, customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad services and empty shelves and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to save in costs. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, let me see who else. Gabby?
Gabby, you there? Yes. Okay. In this case, Walmart got the line right. <laughs> In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level would have on their customer experience. Okay. Uh, did I finish? Yeah, yeah. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, very good. There you go. Now guys, before starting with the question, what was the main problem that Walmart chose in this, in this article? What happened to Walmart? According to what you read, They have a problem with the management of their products. Uh, okay, good. They got a problem with the management of their product. What else can you infer, guys, uh, from that? Thank you, Gabby. What else, guys, can you talk about the uh, that article? Tell me something that you understood from there. Nobody else, guys? Come on, guys. This is the last participation that you're going to do. Then you're going to go on vacations. Probably you will be sleeping tomorrow at this time. All right? So this is the time for you to, you know, like, explore and burn up and, and participate. No matter if, we're, if if you're talking nonsense right now, but at least you're practicing. That's the idea. Any other participation, guys, besides Gavi's one? According to with the, the article, and maybe yeah. Walmart have a lot of storage in, in different countries, uh -huh. but they have problems with their inventory. And because uh, maybe for the for the uh, ay, for the tamaño ay, the size uh, no, amount the size of the company oh the size the size for the company they they can calculate the the problems maybe and they have falls like another company. Mm -hmm. Really, I work with Walmart in Central America, mm -hmm. but they have a, a meticulous process for all for all process. For example, for payment, for inventory, for for buy. They 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 have a complicate process for all mm -hmm. for all things yes i know how it feels working with walmart you know what in the previous company i was well in the company i'm working on weekends the logistics one in 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 the united states walmart is a, one of the customers that got uh, most headaches to customers for real yeah even with the appointment time, you have to be very specific. If they tell you, hey, I need the product at three o'clock, you have to be there at three o'clock. You don't have to pass that specific time. Yeah, it's complicated sometimes. All right, guys. So Let's go straight to the questions now that you don't want to practice and you don't want to share your opinions. Christian, help me out reading the first question. What is Walmart's average inventory? All right, guys. What is Walmart's average inventory? You got three options. A, 32 million. B, 32 billion. And Z, 322 billion. According to what you remember, 
All right. So what is it? 32 billion. Letter B. 32 billion. What does the rest think? Do you guys agree? I agree. Yes. What about the rest? Yes, I agree. Yeah. Okay, great. It says 32 billion. Yeah, because this is here, right? An average of 32 billion in inventory. Okay, great. It's action B, right? Very good. Now, number two. Let me see who can help me out with number two. Carla. I see that you're not as a listener now. Can you participate? Or am I wrong? Yes, I can participate in that. Okay, cool. Can you please help me reading the number two and the possible okay. options, please? Okay. Number two, Walmart's problem is attributed to A, logistics, <laughs> Letter B, software implementation failure. Now in letter C, mismanaged inventory. Nice. Guys, what is the real issue that Walmart has? Which one of the three have you chosen? B, mismanaged inventory. Mismanaged inventory. Do you guys agree with Lorena? Yes. Yes. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. There you go. Manuel, tell me a reading number three, please. Number okay. It's on me, Manuel. Huh? Manuel or me? No, Manuel. Manuel. Okay, sorry. Okay. Number three, what caused the late move stuck out the, the shop floor? Mm. Letter A, a short, a short, a short, a in machinery. Letter B, a short, in a staff. And letter C, an, a short, of distributor. Okay, great. Guys? Which one did you choose? Letter B, a shortage in the staff. Letter B. Uh, who agrees with her? Who agrees with her? Yes. Shortage. shortage in the staff. Okay, great. That's what it is. Number four. Let me see. Someone that has not that participation. Kenya, are you there, Kenya? Yes, sure. Perfect, Kenya. Can you please help me out reading? Number four. How did the stock problem become worse? Mm -hmm. Walmart right put staff to save in cost. Little I'll be. Ah, that's that's the one that you chose. All right. Yes. So the three options are customers stop shopping, Walmart cut the staff to say in cost, and the stock was delayed. Guys, do you agree with Kenya? Yes. All right. Somebody else. Okay, then nobody wanted to participate, but I guess, all right, just right. So this is like the correct one, right? And the last one, let me see, we're gonna say the last one. Hmm. All right, Edwin Vladimir. Can you participate, Edwin? Uh, 
Yes, I choose uh, letter A. They didn't focus an issue with the invent inventory. Okay, so the question is, why did Walmart fail at inventory management, right? So you got the first option. They didn't forecast an issue with inventory. Option B, processes were not optimized. All right, and supply chain was inefficient. Okay, so you chose the first one, right? All right, guys. Yes. Perfect. So guys, do you agree with Edwin? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So that's what it is, right? Perfect, guys. So basically, so we have ended up talking about what? Talking about, you know, like in this case, bad experiences, all right? And with the companies, we have been like finished talking about you know, like inventory management crisis, just to put it like this way. Good. Now, guys, what are we going to do? Listen, if you remember, uh, so basically, give me a second. So basically, we needed to cover uh, the main topic that we were you know, like uh, not having issue, but where we had the issue, yeah, where we had the issue and the reason why we are here. So I'm gonna show you a short presentation talking to you guys about this. This is the topic in which we're going to provide a short reinforcement, all right, about. There you go, let's move. So the topic basically that we're gonna provide a short review, guys, is going to be advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. Do you remember what is a 3PL service provider, guys? That was like a piece of cake for you. So I think we are not going to have that problem. Airport logistics. Yes, there you go. That is your field, Noemi. So you feel powerful when it comes to logistics, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Okay, good. So in here, guys, we're going to be providing a feedback, right? A review with this topic, because basically this was the topic in which we had the issue with Zoom that we didn't count the, you know, like the minutes, your minutes, actually, guys. So we are going to keep on, 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 on you know, on working with this, the rest of the class. So it says, questions to discuss. Daisy, help me reading. Haven't you heard the term third party <laughs> logistics before? Hmm, okay, cool. Have you guys ever heard the term third party logistics before? Daisy. Choose one of your classmates to answer this question for me. Manuel. <laughs> Manuel. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. So, Manuel, what have you heard or what do you remember about this? This specific topic showed in the picture. Have you have you have you heard the term third party logistics before? If so, what is a third party logistics? And uh, I, okay. And I remember is that three PLs is it's about the we transport uh, the transport the product and. And say the products in the warehouse, mm -hmm. and 
and transportation, and say the, the warehouse, and the, and the packing, and, and the packing of the product, and I don't remember. All right. Packing, so like that's, that's, uh -huh. pro process and different delivery products. Mm -hmm. Only that I don't remember more. Good, Manuel, choose one of your classmates to, to help you up and support. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Okay. I don't remember clear, but I, um, I understand that the, the term third party logistic is uh, like uh, Manuel said that um, it's an organization that or there is a kind of business that um, offer service uh, like a transport, you know, warehouse, a logistic um, in a way um, they, they work uh, that the products fluid, I think, yeah, is it's very important to, if you need to transport or move the place, another place, your products, if you need that the products, uh, if the products, you need a, that excellent, uh, excellent, uh, the quality of control of the your product, I think, yeah, well, okay, the the three PL is a uh, help for for maintain get your products nice. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, Daniel. Now let me check. Carla, help me reading this question. Okay. Uh, why do companies use three PL third party logistics? Mm -hmm. Why is it important for companies? Why do they use them for? Guys, any opinion with this question? I know this is presentable to you guys because it's something that we have already discussed, okay? Mm, it's because a uh, 3PL company, uh, when they provide services they reduce the cost and reduce the risks for the for the for our pro process of for our or business mm -hmm. okay there you go thank you noemi any other uh, participation wise? Why do companies use TPL? When they need uh, transportation and the companies that doesn't have a space in, in the factory, for example, they mm -hmm. need a third party logistics. Okay, very good. There you go. Okay, perfect, guys. So basically, uh, you were providing your opinions about these two uh, short, you know, like questions that we got over there. Now, let's talk a little bit about the vocabulary related to these expressions. Remember, what is a third party logistics? Ah, it is used interchangeably with fulfillment warehouse or fulfillment center. It says companies that provide 3PL service offer many 
of the same services as other fulfillment companies, okay? So this is like the definition that we got it, uh, like a third party logistics, okay? That is like the main core of a logistic, you know, like definition. Third party in this case, logistic definition. Good, let's move on. What does this, uh, you know, logistic uh, way provide? What does a third party logistics provide? All right, it provides warehousing, right? A place for your product to be stored and saved for a certain amount of time. Second. And then you got inventory management. What is an inventory management, guys? What is an inventory management? A good control of the inventory. A good Using control. technology. Mm -hmm. in order. Ah, okay, very good. So then like the third aspect, we got shipping and receiving. What is that, Gabby? Shipping and receiving. What do you think is that about? Me? Yes. Uh, shipping and receiving is when uh, the third party uh, logic, the company is like in charge of shipping the product and also if if net if it's necessary receive the products because it's a warehouse so they stock the product because the obviously the company that has hires them they don't have enough enough space so basically they do almost the whole job ah, okay okay very good thank you gabby now ftl and ltl do you guys remember this terminology, these terms? What is FTL? Full truck load. Okay, very good. Full truck load. That is a complete load, guys, from a trailer to another place, right? And it only takes the products from the lady, right? So in that case, uh, now, LTL. Let me see, Lorena, can you please help me out reading about LTL? Or tell me about LTL, what do you think it is? Jesus, I was reading something else. Sorry, I don't remember. You don't remember, okay, good, let me see. Christian, what is LTL? Ah. I... I was in the class, I guess, but uh, it's like less than truck load. Less than truck load. It, 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 uh -huh, it... It's like mm, smaller than the full truck load, I guess. All right. So it goes that way. Kind of that okay. way. All right. But in that case, in LTL, guys, it's like when the truck has to do several stops because they have different products inside the trailer to different places, right? So in the first option, you got FTL. That's one single trailer full with a specific product for a specific place. But in LTL, the trailer is full, but with different products and for different companies, right? That is, that's why it's called LTL. Am I wrong, Noemi? Is that like the way I am saying it? Yes, it's correct. Okay, great. I am confirming with Noemi because she knows about this because that's basically her work. Right, Noemi? Yes. Okay, great. Now, but I can agree about the less, the LTL, 
um, you say that they um, they have product for different places, but uh, they can have different products and, and receive in a warehouse. All the products they receive in only one warehouse. And the customer, they go to the warehouse and they receive your product. Ah, so here they basically um, work differently then. So it means the trailer go and drop the trailer there and then the customers get there uh, just to pick up the product. Yes, normally in El Salvador works the, 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 same, the same form. Ah, okay, okay, I got it now. All right, so I, I thought it was like in other countries that they used to do multiple drops to multiple places. Yes, in they farm works, but when the when the truck uh, travel uh, for different countries, for example, mm -hmm. today uh, I dispatch a, a truck that uh, have product to Nicaragua and Costa Rica and Panama, but they um, deliver different different products in different warehouses in the countries. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's like you say, but for import is different because all the all the product mm -hmm. they arrive in a in a warehouse in only one warehouse in El Salvador and the clients go to go to receive the product in the warehouse yes ah okay yeah because that's that's like an import way right so the product is coming to one specific warehouse and then the clients get there and take their products and then leave, right? For different places. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay, 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 I got your idea now, Noemi, thank you. Very good. Now, let's continue, guys. Picking and packing. I think everybody knows what is that about, right? So let's continue. And this is a clear picture, guys, about how to identify the function of a 3PL warehouse, right, or company. So you got the manufacturer. Remember from the manufacturer, uh, they send uh, trailers full of a product to one specific warehouse, right? So this warehouse is basically a hire by the company, right? So in this case, in this warehouse, it provides probably the storage service, it provides uh, uh, what, truck service, you know, all over the country and everything. And remember from the TPL warehouse, customers get the products and everything and spread the product all over, you know, like the community, you know, somehow. And, and from the 3PL company, it goes the product to the customer's businesses or small retailer co uh, companies or stores, all right, that sells items in a very low quantity. So in this case, this is like the way how it works, right? So in here, we just practice this with a short conversation and everything when we were discussing this like a, a couple of weeks ago, guys. So, but now we're gonna continue with this. And it says steps to lo uh, outsource a third party logistics provider, it says, good. So this is like the last part that we're gonna do with relation to this. And uh, Ospin, help me out reading this, the, the first one, please. The first step. Um, do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. 
Ah, okay, very good. So it says do an internal assessment of your current and future needs, right? It's really necessary that if you have a house, like a warehouse in, in which you store everything, you need to know guys, how many products do you have and how much product do you need, you know, for the warehouse to keep, you know, full. Now the second one. Daisy. Isn't it Daisy here? Daisy? Sorry. Develop a detailed plan for the 3PL selection process. Okay, there you go. Develop a detailed plan for 3PL selection processes, right? So remember, in here, what we uh, what you basically can identify is like the development of a detailed plan, right? For a TPL selection process. Remember that it's really necessary for you guys to make a research or to be sure about the kind of company that you are, you know, like selecting for, you know, like a warehouse proposal or just for keeping your product safe, all right? And the last one over here. So you got, uh, let me see, Daniel, help me read in the last one, please. Okay, review, review the checklist of 3PL capabilities. All right. Thank you, Mr. Review the checklist of 3PL capabilities. So in this case, remember, it talks about those kind of checklists that are done just to check, as the word says, and evaluate how beneficial is to hire a company like that as a 3PL company, right? So that's like the way of, you know, like reviewing those aspects, right? Good. So I'm gonna stop sharing, guys, in here with this because let me see if there's something here. Okay, great. This is like the one that we're gonna continue up. I would like to say uh, goodbye, guys, with a short conversation practice that we got over here. So you will go, or you will go practicing, okay? Good. So guys, I would like to start practicing the short conversation that we got in here, and that's gonna be like the last activity that we're gonna be doing, okay? Uh, on tonight's class. So it says, listen to your teacher read the conversation about choosing a third party company, right? So this is a conversation between Pedro and Carlos. It says, Pedro, Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company, which helps you to transport and store your product. Right? So Carlos says, yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. Pedro says, I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another. And sometimes you don't even have a space here. So Carlos says, there are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. So Pedro comes and tells him, I have this web page in here. You can find some, call them and ask for, a, uh, you know, and ask for advice. Carlos says, thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. So this must be something 
you know, like already like a flashback on your memory, guys, because this conversation uh, was developed on video conference number nine. Any question before I stop sharing this conversation, guys? Any question with the conversation? No. Okay, great. So if you don't have any other questions, guys, I'm gonna stop sharing here. And the last thing that we're gonna be doing is, listen, guys, I will give you the chance for you to go to practice this short conversation for two minutes, all right? So then we're gonna come back in here and you are going to read this conversation to me and that's gonna be the last activity before we leave, all right? So I'm gonna recreate the groups again. Since I got more people, I'm just gonna be choosing two and two. Let me check case and then Edwin Vladimir, can you participate in the conversation practice? Yes, teacher, but uh, I didn't take the screenshot, but you share the the conversation All right. again. All right, I will, I will. Give me a second. All right, use for you to take the take the screen. Here you have. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. So I'm gonna stop sharing here. And uh, I'm going to, all right guys, let's go. Two minutes practice and then we're gonna come back in here, okay? Let's go. Uh, as my invitation, Mr. Because I reached a day. <laughs> Give me one second, Daniel. I accept the invitation. Four and then five seconds. Okay, go. Noemi, could you join? No, I can receive the ah. message. No. Ready, send it. Give me one second. Number two, I'm going okay. to move two to number one. Okay, let's go there. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's, it's the same, no, really. No, this is, I'm not sure that is the conversation. Yes, it's, it's correct, but it's, uh, it's, 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 it's small. Uh, but I, I have a screenshot only. You can see? Yes. Okay, give me a moment. Yes, it's better. Okay. 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 I am Pedro. Okay. Um, hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's time for you to hire a warehouse company, which helps you to transport and store your product. 
Yes, the company is growing, but it's the, I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. When you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have, uh, you don't even have a space here. There are there are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to to. But I think it's terrible to think on hiring a third party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed when you have to move product from the facility or to another and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a for a third party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find for your for you to hear a warehouse company which helps you to transport and storage store your products. And yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a three-party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes do you you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a three company, a three party company. I have this page web page. In here, you can find some how the we okay. have finished, teacher. Fair. Okay, let's go then. Go to the main section. Want to listen to all of you guys, all right? See you there. See you. All right, guys. So I got it in here, and uh, did, 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 did. who wants to be the first one? Who wants to break out the ice? Remember the last part that we're doing, this is the last activity called so, who me? Nobody. Me. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Yeah. Me too. All right, perfect. Let's go, guys. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a three-party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a three-party company. I have this web page in here. You can find some. Call them and that and ask for advice. Advice. Thank you. I, I will advice. check one of those and let's see what happens. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Daisy and Edwin. Now, Daniel. Let's go, Daniel. Okay. With the Caporistia. Okay. Hello, Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's time for you to, to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your products. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed when you have to move a product 
from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where the, to search for a third party company. I have this web page. I hear you can find some. Come then and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Christian and Daniel. Now, Elwin. Uh, Carla, it was with us. Ah, Carla was with you. Okay, good. Yes, yes. Christian, help me out with her. Okay. So Let's start. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company, which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mention it because you get the stress when you have to move product from one facility to another. And sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some. Call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one, each one of those and let's see what happens. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Carla and Christian and Daniel. Now, Manuel, and if I'm not grown, Gaby. Okay. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company, which help you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some, call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happen. What happens? All right, and what happens? All right, thank you. And I think it was Edwin also, but I heard him when I already tapped that to go out of the session. I'm not sure if it's here. Edwin? Is that one, no? Edwin, Alex, there. Edwin, are you there with them? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Can you practice with, uh, in this case, with Gabby? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm, I'm Pedro. Okay. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it is time for you to hire a warehouse company, which helps helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring, hiring a third party company. I mentioned it because I, because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another and sometimes you don't even have space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some. Call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. Okay, great. Thank you, Gabby. All right, Elwin and Manuel. Now, Osbin. Who are you working with, Osbin? No, I mean. Okay, good. Let's go, mister. Okay, no, I mean. Are you there, Naomi? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Um. Um. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. 
I think it's time for you to hire a warehouse company, which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think I hiring a third party company. I mentioned it because you get stressed, stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a third company, party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some, call them and ask for advice. Um, I don't see the other sentence. Hey, I is, is it a little below where it says, thank you? Do you see it? No, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Then, then it's it. Got it now? Okay. I can I can see. All right, so I'm gonna give me one second. I'm gonna stop sharing this way, and I'm gonna project it on a normal one. All right, so so you can see it now, Mister. Oh yes, thank you, thank you. I will check each one of those, and uh, let's let's see that happen. All right, and let's see what happens. Okay, very good. Thank you, Osbin and Noemi. Good, guys. Let's continue with the ones that are still missing before we leave. Lorena, who are you working with? All right, with me. <clears throat> ah, okay, perfect. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I start. Hello, Carlos. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's a time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring a third party company. I mention it because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another and sometimes you don't even have the space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to search for a, for a third-party company. I have this web page. In here, you can find some, call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check, I, I will check each one of those and let's see what happens. And let's see what happens. Okay, very good. Thank you to you both. All right. Thank you for everything. Let me see somebody else that is missing. Any other group guys that might be missing? I got the feeling that someone is missing. Let me see. Me. Kenya. I was about to mention you, Kenya. And I guess you were working with Jaime, right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Okay, I start. Hello, okay. Carl. I see your fabric company is growing fast. I think it's, it's time for you to hire a warehouse company which helps you to transport and store your product. Yes, the company is growing, but I think it's too early to think on hiring to third party company. I mentioned it's because you get stressed when you have to move product from one facility to another, and sometimes you don't even have a space here. There are difficult days sometimes, but I don't know where to share for a third party company. I have a deep web page. If in here, you can find some and call them and ask for advice. Thank you. I will check each one of, 
of those and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So basically, I think it was the last participation. Let me see. Yeah, I guess most of you guys have already finished. Let me see. Yeah, I guess we got them all. All right, guys, listen up. Uh, I don't know if you guys have already, uh, you know, like completed or achieved the, give me one second before we leave. I want to just check, right, how we are before we go, uh, how we are with the module, guys. All right. Antes que nos retiremos, guys, since this is like the last uh, video conference that we're having uh, related to the module, I would like just to show cómo estamos con lo de las tareas, right? Necesito saber quiénes me hacen falta todavía, okay, like to work on. All right, so I'm gonna share this and in here. Okay, guys, esto básicamente es el reporte que yo tengo de, de, de sus notas, okay? And the development that, that, that you have been, you know, like going through the platform. Y básicamente, yeah, I mean, we got all of it. Uh, only Edwin Alexander, are you there? Sí, sí, teacher, All right, mister. Solo con usted me faltaría el examen, el, el, el final exam, porque me parece con un 0%. Y de la, de la, homework, de la semana 4, me parece que nada más ha hecho un 40%. Y tiene un total de 52%. Entonces, eh, mister, no sé si para ahora me puede completar eh, estas dos partes para que acá le aparezca como mínimo entre un 85 a 90%. Okay, sí, yo lo completo ahora. Perfect, perfect. I will appreciate that, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, let me see. Fatima Adriana. All right, so she's not here. All right, so we don't have any kind of problem with... Uh, let me see. No, I guess we don't have any other problem with, with, with the rest. No, we got perfect in here. Yeah, basically, uh, that's that's the that's the only that's the only uh, a you know like person that is missing uh like the exam. All right, guys, I'm just gonna pass the attendance list. But antes de pasar asistencia, uh, I do really appreciate guys like uh, you know like to be patient, to be connected uh, throughout the classes and everything. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be with you the next uh, level, right? But I wish you the best, guys. Keep on going, uh, you know, like practicing English. You have a good level of English. And I hope you continue learning, you know, like more than what you know, okay? So I wish you the best, guys. And thank you for everything, okay? So now I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list. All right, great. Carmen Eugenia, so just done already. Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, excellent. Daniel Arquimides. Present. All right. Uh, Daisy Maricela. Present. Nice. Uh, Elwin Alexander. Present. Good. Elwin Vladimir. Uh, present teacher. Nice. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Thank okay, you. Good. All right. Fatima Adriana, so she didn't get connected. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Okay, perfect. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. All right, good. Carla Lisset. Good teacher. Thanks for Thank everything. You. Thank you to you. All right. 
Uh, Kenia Sicilia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Nice. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, good. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, perfect. And Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, great. So guys, it was a pleasure. I hope you can enjoy this couple of days that you're going to have, uh, you know, like <laughs> as vacations at night before starting the, the next uh, module. So bye-bye, guys. Take care, okay? Bye. 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 Thank, bye. You. Thank, you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you for all. Bye. -bye. Thank you to Thank you, you for all teacher. getting connected. All right. Bye-bye. All right, so basically we have given an end to this module, all right? So I hope all the topics might be like clear, all right? So, and without any kind of doubt. So that's it for uh, the last class. So bye-bye.